Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own face strike heavy bag attachment. So stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? Carlo here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own face strike heavy bag attachment. It's a really simple setup. All you have is the actual rubberized head right here that's filled with a medium density foam. It's about 12 inches in height and about six inches wide. It's flat on the back so it can rest nicely against your heavy bag. And the second piece is gonna be the actual nylon luggage straps here. Uh, mine are about eight feet in length and I got them from Home Depot. It's Husky brand right here. So for those of you that are familiar with Home Depot, I'm sure you've had several of these products. Husky brand is a, and this is eight feet by one inch luggage straps. I actually needed three total because of the height of the bag. So I ended up getting two boxes of this. These were, I think like $3 and 50 cents each. The actual head itself was $12 on Amazon. And you guys may find this funny, but this is actually a cosmetology head. So when people are going to cosmetology school, they use these, these rubber heads to kind of like do the makeup and work on their whatever they do at cosmetology school and they put a wig or whatever. And that's what it's, it's actually used for. But in our case, we're going to use it for boxing. Now, I got the idea for this a while back and I don't know if you guys remember the product and maybe you guys can correct me on that. There's a product a couple years ago that was a head like this and it had actually like a handle inside. I think it was like either black or like a dark gray. And it was almost like a, a boxing mitt where you can hold it as a coach and then the person can hit it like a mitt. So you're essentially using it like a mitt. I don't think it really gained that much steam. At least I hadn't, haven't seen it very much or I've never seen one at the gym or anybody using it. So I don't think it really picked up. I do know that Tidal makes a similar product like this that you can attach to your heavy bag and, and use that to, to strike with. But I wanted to go a little bit more of a do-it-yourself route and, and it, make it a li little bit cheaper. So with the head and these luggage straps, everything was about $20 plus or minus a couple of dollars, just depending on what you get. Obviously, I'll put the link in the description box on this particular head. Uh, but when you do go on Amazon, you may see other models that may fit you better, that might be a little bit bigger in size or even more affordable. But this, again, was about 12 bucks, so uh, I thought that was a pretty good price. Uh, now the way I did it was really easy. All I did was, since it's rubber, um, I used my knife and I just cut slits through the rubber uh, on both the top and the bottom for the vertical attachment. And then for the horizontal attachment that goes around the bag, I just cut slits on the side. So fairly easy and you can actually see the foam material that's on the inside there. So let me go ahead and show you guys how this hooks onto the heavy bag. It's pretty straightforward. One thing is if you do have a ring at the bottom of your heavy bag or a strap, uh, that really helps with the stability of it. So I would run the bottom strap through that. Uh, but some bags don't have it, that's completely okay, but that's just one of, something optional that will help with the stability. So from there, I just uh, attach it to the bag itself. I have to loosen this one up a little bit. Connect it there. Obviously you wanna get it to the correct level. I mean, you wanna get it about the same height as your head. That way it's more realistic. And then the, the top and the bottom strap. So let me get this one done. And hook this on. Hook this strap up too. Straps all twisted down here. Let me just get this untwisted. Alright. Alright, so now you guys see that I got everything tightened up. One thing you'll notice is that I left some extra slack of strap here. And the reason I did that 
is it gives me some flexibility if I want to use it for a larger diameter heavy bag or one that's a different height. Uh, so whether it's my nozzle or this Title one or any other kind of bag, at least I have some flexibility in changing the size of the strap. So you don't want to cut, trim them off too short. Otherwise, you might be, not be able to fit on a bigger bag. And I know that you guys are going to ask, well, how about uh, like those Aqua training bags or the, the, poly, the buoy bags that are rounder will work with that. You could try, but I doubt it because of the shape of it. It's too round, so when you try to, when you try to tighten it down, the minute you hit it, the strap will probably just slide right off the bag because of the shape. Whereas with these cylindrical, traditional heavy bags, it's a little bit better because it's a little bit flatter and, and the head can kind of sit flat against the actual surface rather than it being too round and it kind of popping off. So the main thing about this that I love is compared to just using the heavy bag traditionally is obviously you're simulating this being somebody's face that you're punching, but it helps with the trajectory of you throwing your punches. And I, I know a lot of us, we try to work, perfect our form with, our, with throwing our punches, our jabs, our straights, you know, our hooks, our uppercuts, being nice and crisp and short. But I find out that sometimes, even myself, when I'm working the heavy bag, that sometimes we're kind of unrealistic with our shot placement. So instead of, you know, throwing your hook where it needs to be right here on the person's chin or, on, you know, you're trying to get it on the side of their head, the temple, on their chin, you end up kind of throwing wide. Unless you're trying to go around their guard, it's kind of unrealistic with the trajectory of your punches. And you might cock your arm back too far on a hook because you're just hitting the bag and you're not really focusing on where you're putting your, where you're placing your punch. Where if you're punching, when you're practicing and you're punching somebody, you're not gonna throw your punch all the way out here. You're gonna clip them. You're just gonna go boom, nice and compact right in their chin. Same thing with the uppercut. You know, you're not gonna be throwing the uppercut all the way down and kind of scraping the bag. You're gonna come boom, right into the chin. Boom, or up underneath the nose and lifting up their head. So boom. So it's really realistic in the fact that it forces you to ensure the trajectory of your rear punches are where they need to be at, rather than having these big looping punches that some of you, including myself, may be throwing. And, and I mean, obviously from a conditioning standpoint, working out, yeah, you're working out. But I think this is great for maximizing being able to use the, the proper punch form. And obviously, as the bag moves around, you move with it. So it's nice because it doesn't just stay stationary. It moves with you. And it's soft enough. The material, the rubber is soft enough to where you won't damage your gloves. It's pretty forgiving in that regard. These nylon straps too are pretty soft, so if your glove lands on that, you won't damage your glove. Obviously, I would be mindful of the plastic clip back here, but again, that's just to me more common sense than anything. But So this is nice forcing you to work the bag and not be stationary because it gives you a target that moves. So wherever the head goes, you're moving with it. Going to the right. Now I'm on an angle on him. Maybe I threw a one, two, and I slipped, I slipped out, and then boom, I hit him with the hook. So again, you work your angles, maybe hit them with an uppercut and come around with the hook. So definitely a nice little attachment that's quite inexpensive, can change things up for you if you guys are getting kind of bored with your, your workout routine with your heavy bag. And again, I think the most important thing is being able to perfect the way you throw your punches and the trajectory. But because again, when you're, when you're sparring or in your fight with somebody, that's what you're aiming for, right? You're aiming for that head. Obviously, for the body too, of course. Work on the body. But this really allows you to make sure your punch placement is where it needs to be at. Uh, rather than just kind of mindlessly throwing punches at the bag without any focus on where you're throwing your punches. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, as usual, put them down below in the comments box. 
I'll put the link in the description box so you can find this attachment. I'll see you guys later. Take care.